Our ESG journey started uh, somewhere last year in the summer. Now currently working on the maternity matrix. We, we thought it would be better already to start collecting data up front, not to wait until the result of the maternity matrix. And it's also by the nature of your company. We are a zinc business, we, are, we have many factories. So by far our energy consumption is situated in the factories and by far 90% of our energy consumption is done within the factories. So it's obvious that the KPI concerning uh, energy and emission will be a very important KPI, whatever the outcome will be of the maternity matrix. We know the auditor will have to give assurance about the non-financial data also because the ESG reporting is one package including financial and non-financial data. So in order to give assurance, we have to be sure that the data that we collect is very reliable. And then I believe that the JETIC, the tool, the ESG tool, will guide us, will help us uh, to get the data in a very structured way. And as Tagetic is also experienced in the financial data upload, I, we believe that Tagetic will be able to also upload uh, this non-financial data. Start now because your competitors are also starting. Uh, and to keep ahead of these competitors, be sure it is a lot of work. Eh? It's not something that you do in, in two, one or two months. It's, uh, it's all mindsetting. And the second opinion that I have about when you want to start your journey, start within the finance team. So let the finance team take the lead in the implementation of the CSRD reporting. Let the two guide you towards your ESG journey. The tool can help you in implementing, but also as a guidance, because all the KPIs are in the tool. So it's a real good guidance towards your ESG journey.